Joining us now for five insightful minutes is Doug Tiffin. Doug is the head of solutions strategy for fashion and apparel at Amazon Web Services. Doug, first question, what is taking place in the fashion and apparel space right now? And how are you seeing retailers invest in cloud technologies? So the rapid growth of e-commerce that was spurred by the pandemic is mostly stabilized right now. But what has changed is consumer behavior. And I believe it's going to continue to change. And the expectations now are kind of higher than level uh, for the retailers and brands. So customers today, they're, they're less loyal to brands. And they're expecting great shopping experiences that are connected no matter where they interact with the retailer, whether it be online or in an app, in the store or in social media. So retailers must rapidly adapt and change, investing in technology to meet their, their customers' changing expectations. So this includes investing in AI and cloud technologies that power better shopping experiences like uh, personalization or improving business processes like leveraging AI to create product images or product descriptions. And then using AI to create the next level of customer services that involve all these things before, personalization, product data, all into one great customer experience. Doug, inflation has eased, certainly. The industry has not yet recovered, though, to pre-pandemic levels. For example, we're seeing supply chain disruptions, high interest rates, geopolitical uncertainties, and all this may lead executives to be a little bit more cautious about their technology investments. So I'm curious what AI investments you think are going to have the biggest impact on profitability and customer loyalty within the fashion and apparel space. Yeah, fashion brands and retailers are concerned about customer acquisition, but mostly about customer retention. They're constantly mm. things like personalization and enhancing and enhancing digital engagement, next level customer service, all with the intent of creating delightful shopping experiences. So the AI behind that can be in things like personalization, for example. AI can understand vast amounts of data like shopping history, browsing history, and pull all that together to give relevant product recommendations in session for each customer as they shop. Personalization can even reach into marketing. And instead of marketing to giant segments like we've done in the past, we can literally cater marketing messaging to the individual. Another area that I see investment in is product search and discovery. 60% right. of shoppers. Yeah, 60% of shoppers will go straight to the search bar when they hit a retailer site. And if they don't find what they're looking for within a few clicks, 80% of the time, they're going to bolt for another website. So AI technologies can help by help letting customers search by using product images and statements instead of just keywords. They can ask a question and AI can identify items in that retailer's assortment that meet the need of that consumer and, and then give them that offering. You know, shoppers can find exactly what they're looking for and then walk away with a great customer experience. And then finally, the last place I see AI investments are really in the customer service space. So AI powered chatbots can offer 24 hours, you know, uh, customer help and, and, re and customers can come in and the AI can understand their intent and give them the answers they need to get to what they're looking for. There would be help with a problem or finding a product. And another version of a AI chatbot is personal stylists that I see happening a lot, where either in an app or in a website, a customer can go in and ask questions on like what to wear. Like, for example, you know, if you want to find a dress for New Year's Eve in Manhattan, what should I buy? And AI can not only give you the dress, but also round it out with the handbag and the shoes to go with it. So let's get you out of here on this. If we consider a long term or take a longer term view, what do retailers need to take action on now to drive more value in the future? Right now, right this second, Doug, what would you tell retailers? Top of my mind is develop and enforce a complete data strategy. All the cool mm -hmm. AI in the world won't help you if the foundational data is not in good shape. The second thing would be take your vision for a differentiated customer experience and invest in the technology that you need to support that vision. Anticipate that your customer's demands and expectations are going to continue to change. And so you want to make sure that you're positioned to be able to meet those changes. And then uh, also think of AI as a member of your team. They're a highly potential uh, team member that is capable of great things, but they need time and training to get up to speed. So start now. 
you know, if your team is new to AI, get them started on internal projects, then some short ones to get some quick wins and build that muscle memory. So then they can turn around and work on some longer term strategic projects that could really deliver big value. And then finally, plan for the long term. Clearly define and communicate the vision for your organization to focus on. So as AI projects come up, you can make everybody knows they need to be aligned to those goals and help drive them. And and just know that you're not alone in this. Um, AWS and our partners are here here to help to uh, give you the technology and solutions that you need to power your success. Thanks. Great Doug. stuff, Doug. Thank you. Mm-hmm.